In this video, we'll learn everything about Google Photos. So, let's get into it. When you open the app for the first time, it asks you for the storage permission. Then you can enable the notifications. Next, you'll get this pop-up to enable the backup. We'll do that later. On the main interface, you find the device and backed up media. The first time, the app sets up your photo library and depending on the photos and videos, it will take time. Scrolling up or down shows you this handle on the right. This handle shows you the time frame to go into a point in time. When the backup is off, you'll see this tiny icon next to your profile. Let's open an image. You can zoom in by double tapping or pinching the photo. You can pinch to close the photo as well. On the top, we have the star button to add this photo to the favorites album. Next to that, we have a backup sign. Tap in here will back up this photo to the cloud. These three dots will open the photo details and options. You can also open this menu by swiping up. We have a few options here. Then we have the photo details such as the date, location and camera. You can open videos in the same way. The bottom row has the main features of this app. Google Photos search feature is just amazing. Here we have faces of people, places, documents and other categories to help us find photos and videos easily. Sharing is where you find shared photos and albums. Library is for your favorites, utilities, archived media and bin. You'll also find device folders and albums here. Now let's talk about the Assistant. Assistant takes you back to the old days. It's clever enough to make different categories. You can see based of March, a few days ago, remember this day, etc. When you tap on one, the app shows photos with nice background music. You can share those individual photos. The details menu has this option that will take you to this day to see other photos. It also shows the normal photo details. Alright, let's talk about those faces. Google Photos is intelligent because it knows the faces and shows photos in separate albums. It lets you name each face so that you can search for them. You can tap on a face and add their name here. Let's open my photos. Here I'll only find my photos and videos. On the top I can add others. So photos of me and that person only will be visible. The app is also smart enough to detect documents and stuff. Here are some examples. If I search for water on the top, the app will show photos and videos that have water in them. We can also search for objects and colors. This makes finding things super easy. Let's talk about editing photos and videos now. Google Photos is great at recommending edits when you open a photo. For instance, here it suggests fixing the photo lighting. You can fix it with one tap and save a copy. You can open the full photo editor by touching here. The first thing you'll find is some quick suggestions. You also have the crop, adjust and some other things. When you apply an edit, the option turns blue. The app also has filters and markup options. Google One subscribers have some additional premium editing features. We can't see any for some reason, but I'll include a screenshot. Anyway, let's save this photo. The video editor has the same options with a couple of extra tools. You can shorten the video with this timeline. The stabilization option will stabilize your video. We also have crop, adjust, filter and markup options. This button lets you export the current frame as an image. This is helpful if you want to take screenshots of a video. Let's go to settings. Here you find your account storage. When your photos and videos are uploaded to the cloud, the app suggests deleting them from your phone. This will delete photos and videos only from your device. From location to partners, you'll find all the settings here. This backup feature will automatically backup your media. You can backup reduced quality photos and videos to save storage or choose the original quality. Down here is mobile data. You can set a daily limit or leave it to unlimited 
to upload as quickly as possible. When a backup is in progress, you'll see this blue ring. Tap in here will give you more information about the current backup process.